Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and I'm back today opening a random smattering of kind of weird packs. I've got a 1987 Topps Rack Pack. I've got a couple star minor league baseball packs from 1989 and two 1989 Sports Flicks packs. So not quite sure what to make of that menagerie of different cards, but we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. So starting off with the obvious one, the iconic 1987 Topps uh, Rack Pack. And this set obviously is just known because of that everyone i think everyone loves that wood border i mean i think there are more people who love the wood border than hate the wood border I and mean, for a long time i didn't quite understand why they would have a wooden border here but then i realized oh it's like baseball bats oh my goodness <laughs> right away we get a great looking nicely centered 1987 tops nolan ryan the printing on this is actually pretty terrible. The coloring is pretty bad. I feel like it could be so much more vibrant, but that will go in my personal collection. I got a few of those already, but none of them in that good of shape. So that's super exciting. Great start to this whole thing. Man, it's hard to beat that. Why are these so faded, I wonder? Like a lot of these are just looking kind of faded. Even the ones in the middle of the pack, like how would they get faded in the middle of the pack? There's Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Put him aside. So strange to have those faded. Uh, and then the cell number two here. Yeah, all these are kind of faded. I wonder if they were just sitting in the sun or what, but still, I don't know why the middle of the pack would be faded like this. Len Matusek. I have no idea who that is. Clearly played in the league for a few years. Let's put him aside and maybe look him up. Let's find out whatever happened to that guy. All right. So, not looking so hot here, except for that Nolan Ryan, which might make the whole thing work. Also, we know we got a Rick, Ricky Henderson glossy all-star, so that makes it pretty darn good. It's interesting. So I'm looking here at Larry Sheets, 1981, played for Rochester, but actually didn't play. So he was on the team and did not play. Interesting. All right, so there's our Ricky Henderson Glossy All-Star. One of these in every rack pack. Oh, George Bamberger. Looks like he's having a good time. Gary Carter. All right, all right. Not the world's greatest, but he is a revered catcher, so we'll take him out. All right, so not a whole lot from that 87 tops world, but that Nolan Ryan does make my day, so we'll take it. Um, let's jump to minor league. Uh, I have no idea what to expect in here. I don't know, but I, I've opened minor league cards before, but primarily the line drive. Uh, I don't know that I've ever opened Star Minor League before. I know about them, and I've had the cards before in my possession, but never a pack. These packages are kind of weird and hard to open, but uh, no idea what we're even looking for or what. Uh, first ever series, yeah, so this is the first one. Uh, it doesn't say if it's just double A, single A, triple A, etc., so we'll see what we find in here. All different colors. Royal Clayton, so we all know that Royce Clayton went on to play for the Astros. Which a lot of these guys are pretty stoked because T.T. Roche, uh, because this might be the only card they ever got. Rod Beck, so he did go on and have a good pro career. Something. Chris Howard at least looks like he's having fun. Juan Guerrero. I don't know why this is so funny. We look at the line the baseball has drawn. So somebody's clearly like just rolled it the tiniest way there. I think that's really funny. And Sean Hathaway. No idea about those. Put those aside. Let's see what we get in this second pack here. All right. Antonio Linares. John Kulak. Brett Barbary. He went on to go ahead and play in the bigs. So. Good for him. Oh, and this was his first year in pro baseball, period. 
And look, he is a kid. Look at him. Sometimes you forget just how young some of these guys are. Uh, Tim Dell. Again, just a kid. Okay. Omen. Ed Hartman. And Tim Mauser. So, nothing to write home about in that star pack, those star packs. Now we're on to sports flicks, which of course are those lenticular action-packed cards. So take a look. We only get a few cards per pack here, so hope they get hope they're good ones. But I do like these because they you know, get to see different views and angles of the players. Andy Hawkins. Oh, look at that. Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer, slugging third baseman for the Phillies. So that was a great card for him. 1989. Uh, they give you two worthless, like, why don't they just give you an extra card instead of giving you these worthless things? And then Jim Presley. That is odd. Two really not good players. And the, the sets were so small. Why would they choose to put those guys in there, I guess would be the question. I don't know. And our next one here. Three players we get in here. Looks like we got Jay Buhner. So that's something. Jack Clark. We're still on Yankees. Two worthless cards there. And then Glenn Wilson. Wow, poorly miscut too. Um, yeah, so not a whole lot out of that one. But that Mike Schmidt's a good one. Um, there you have it. So let's take a look here at uh, Len Matusek. Phillies, Blue Jays, Dodgers. He likes... Hobbies include audio and video recording. Oh, that's cool. So I share something in common with him there. I know nothing about him. Never heard of him. So we're going to find out. You never know. There you go. Leonard James Mat Matusek. Uh, played in the majors for the blah, blah, blah from 81 to 87. So that's the end of his career, pretty much. Went to Toledo, played baseball and basketball. Oh, there you go. Lifetime 234 hitter, 30 home runs, 119 RBIs, so nothing major. Uh, high school, drafted. Known for taking over the role as a starting first baseman for the Phillies after they released Pete Rose after the 83 season. So there you go. Top pinch hitter in the National League. And that's about it. So nothing about personal life. Nothing about life after baseball. He remains a bit of an enigma and mystery. Len, you're out there somewhere. And then after, you know, after your years with the Phillies, you went over to the Blue Jays and Dodgers and called it a day. So Len, hats off to you for making the bigs. Hope you're out there doing well. The rest of you, we'll see you next time.